Now let's take a look at adding skin wrinkles. And again, that's something that's personal preference. I'm going to probably overdo it a bit just so you can see what we're doing. But we're on the standard brush. And once again, I'm going to go to the spray tool and I'm going to grab the same Alpha 58. And this all depends on intensity and the size of your brush. So if you want it to not be very intense, to be very light, you can just very simply come in and start hitting it. And while you can't see it from where you're at, let me show you the difference. That was on two. Probably couldn't even see it. Now let me show you what it's like on five. And hopefully you're seeing the difference. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this head like this. This is probably a lot more intense than I would normally use. And I'm not using symmetry on this particular one because I want it to be just a little bit different. And like I said, I'm using a little more intensity than I would. I would probably recommend you backing off a little. But we're looking at first I want you to see how it's done. And we're also looking to project this. So really this is another one where it's just all brush and settings. Okay. Maybe not quite that much. There we go. I think that'll work right there. Now we're ready to just do maybe some final cleanup, take a look, see how things fit. I remember that I didn't move the beard down at the bottom. Looks like there's some gaps right in there. So we can get our move tool. The symmetry. And, oh, I'm going to do that. I was on the wrong sub tool. You got to grab the Go T, move it up, and close those gaps in. At least where you can see it like that. Then just kind of look it over. It's still a little rough right in there, it looks like. So let's go back to what was in a standard. Draw it down a little. Turn off my symmetry because I just want it on this one side. And I just want to break that up a little right there. Okay. Now, we can also come in here and actually pose. We're going to the move tool, pose our eyebrows as we actually want them. However you want them to end up. And generally you just look the thing over. Okay, I think we're probably ready to go into the final stages. Now we're ready to go ahead and generate our normal maps. And this can be a little tricky. Now remember the full character is here. We're just only showing this part of it. So the body is there. And if your character is multi-part, like the eyes, the mouth, which this actually is, it'll sometimes come in as just one character. And with Character Creator, that's what happens. These others are, of course, the hair, beard, meshes, eyebrows that we created. So what we've got to do is make sure we grab the right part of the mesh to generate the right normal. Now we can use control shift to click on the eyeballs and make them disappear simple enough. But to get to the tongues another matter. You're going to need to keep your your uh tool down small. Hold down control shift and click on one of the teeth. Then the top of the tongue. Now, that leaves just what we need to generate our map for the head. We're not going to worry about the body. We didn't really change anything on the body anyway. 
So we're just going to generate this for the head. Now, we can go ahead and just shut off the visibility on these. Since we don't have them selected, they're not going to export anyway, and we're not going to generate a map on them uh, until we get till it comes time. So what we've got to do now, we've got this ready. Let's go ahead and let's go to UV map. Make sure you're on 2048, and then go all the way to 16 on map border. Now let's go to our normal map, and let's generate the map. Now, this is something you're going to see if you've never used ZBrush before. A map cannot be generated while the highest subdivision level is activated. So what you have to do is go all the way down to the lowest level. Don't worry about what it does in here uh, that you lose a lot of detail. That doesn't matter. You're ready now to create your normal map. And it just depends on the speed of your computer as to how fast that's going to take. Now it's ready. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to clone it. Now if you've cloned it, you'll see it pop up over here. Then go up here to texture. We want to flip the vertical, flip it. Then export out. And let's see. We'll call this one head PNG. And that gives us our map to project to this lower level mesh to bring all those features back to this low level mesh. 